A casing and some components have arrived. Let's build us a server. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am Colorboy and you are not. Some components have arrived, a casing has arrived. I want to build a server, a home server, not too expensive. Absolutely not like server grade, it's more like a workstation. It will be AM4 based with a Ryzen 5 processor. Let's unbox it and let's assemble it. To unbox it, we need Let's see what is inside. It is a about 700 euros, 700 dollar ish server. It will be a home server, simple server, Ryzen 5 2400G processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 4 terabytes Western Digital Red hard drive, and as the operating drive a Kingston A1000 SSD drive. It has been years since I assembled a PC. So let's check it out and see if we can get it to work. Of course, packaging materials. First up, Ryzen 5 2400G processor, first AMD build I will be doing in years. Simple SATA cable, Western Digital Red 4 terabytes. SATA drive to begin with. Corsair VS series 550 watts power supply. Maybe a bit overdone, not sure. It wasn't too expensive, so don't care. Kingston 8480 gigabytes SSD, which is of a type which is new for me. Now everybody's laughing. Oh, 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 don't you know what it is? Don't you have experience with it? No, I never used it. It is like a NVMe type of drive. Don't know, just click it in like a memory module, I guess. We will see. Two times eight gig of ballistic sports gaming memory. <laughs> Don't care. Uh, DDR4, of course, 3000 megahertz running speed. So 16 gig. I am going to install Windows Server. I hear you screaming already, why not open NAS, why not Linux, la 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 la. I'm a developer, I need some Windows software which needs to run on Windows Server. So yeah, I, I just need it and I guess it will work for me. So the Windows way I will go. And last but not least, the motherboard X470 chipset. 
the Gaming Plus motherboard from MSI. And let's pray I don't need to flash the BIOS for the Ryzen second generation processor because I don't have a first generation and I will not be able to update the BIOS and I will have a problem, but we will see. We save the case, which is a fractal design R5 MIDI casing, MIDI tower, I guess. Uh, we save that for later. We will see how it is. It's just a casing, has some good reviews. Um, I think it will do. Let's first open up the motherboard. So we have the motherboard, which is just plain ATX size. It comes with not too many accessories. I see here a SATA cable, so I didn't need to order that separate, but yeah, okay, whatever. The back plate, or how do you call it? I don't know. Some drivers, some screws, I think for the SSD module. Or manuals, whatever. And here we have a nice motherboard. Nothing too spectacular to mention, I will guess. Secondly, we need the processor. Again, we need the beast. comes with a stock cooler, which I'm going to use for now. If it will not work out, whatever, I will buy a separate cooler, but I guess this will do. I see there is already some thermal paste on it, I think. So that's nice. So first up, let's install the processor on the board, which is a matter of aligning the notch. Lifting the handle. This is it. Close the handle. Now it's time to remove the cooler brackets because these are for generation one processors. the SSD drive which is supposed to go here. 
gelijk klik het in. Tijd in de schoen. I have the Kingston 480 gig. It's really not that expensive. And it has good reviews, so I hope it will hold in the server. I don't know, but I will make daily backups anyhow, so we will see. There is a riser screw for the various sizes of SSD modules. When looking at this riser, it's already in the right spot. Next, we have the processor, we have the memory, we have the SSD. I think, I think it's time to insert it into the case. Okay, let's open up the case. So here we have the casing. Fractal Design R5, titanium with open window. Didn't necessarily want an open window, but the closed window was not in stock, whatever. I don't care. It's on my attic anyhow, so I will never look at it <laughs> again. So let's remove the side panel. Very nice, it has a notch which you can press to unlock it, window, here we have the casing, a lot of drive base, even five and a quarter, but yeah, okay. Two, two, two and a half inch base motherboard, two fans in the back, one in the back, one in the front. I think it has a dust filter. Yeah, it's fine with me. Brackets of the case come with special dampeners. Bit difficult to see maybe. Which really help with absorbing any shocks or sudden movements or whatever.
guys and girls, that's about it. Now I'm about to install server, Windows Server and blah blah blah. I'm not going to make a detailed video about that. You can, you can find it everywhere on the internet. Uh, also, this was not too detailed about really assembling the PC. It's not rocket science and again enough quality videos are there already for how to build a PC. I'm happy. I'm very curious if you have any comments. No doubt there will be. This is no real server. You should have chosen other components. You should have chosen another platform, another chipset, whatever. Um, it's just for home use. Put my media on it. Web server, whatever. Um, and some specific programs I need for my work. So because of that, I couldn't have gone the NAS way or install Linux or OpenNAS or whatever. This was the easiest option for me. Any comments again, write them down. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, even better. Approaching 1000 subscribers. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.